instead of doing mindless repetitions of crunches or getting on the treadmill and watching TV while you're on the treadmill, that you're actually in your body and listening to the feedback that your body is giving you through these exercises to improve your senses and your abilities and so that you can also sense the horse and sense what's going on with that. As a rider, oh, it can help you from the most mundane things like finding your stirrup when you've lost your stirrup on course, you know, where is it? Your leg is moving around. You know where it is because you know what muscles to fire. Um, it can help you, as I said before, if you see, if you're coming, coming up to a jump and you see an extra stride in there and your horse does not and he takes off without you, you can recover more quickly. So it's really, there aren't any specific, you know, the best exercises learning how to ride a horse is to ride the horse. But these exercises off the horse can actually hone your sensory skills so that you're better able, you know, to fix those bobbles. If there's a spook or a buck, how do you get back? How do you get back? Um, if you need to feel your horse, you know, feel the elasticity of your horse a little bit more, your sensory receptors are just better trained to do that.